live crafting this morning. I super enjoy doing my live crafting with you every weekend. So I do apologize for not going live yesterday, um, but I'm here this morning. So um, I'm either going to pop up Saturday or Sunday. So I'll give you a little while to jump on and get the notification that I've gone live. So I should be live on Facebook. I should be live on YouTube. Um, so when you actually get on and you get the notification, please jump on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. I can see I've got about 13 people um, on at the moment. So good morning, Cindy, you're the first one. Good morning. Welcome. Hey, Randy, how are you going? Watching from New Jersey. Welcome. Um, Helen, good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. So I'm doing a little bit of a twist on my crafting this morning. I've got a card swap group that I'm a part of and I wanted to uh, kill two birds with one stone. I wanted to create my card swaps because I've put myself down for four swap partners. And I also wanted to um, be able to show you a little bit of a different twist to your crafting that would probably take your crafting to a totally different level. So hello and welcome everybody that is joining. So please, when you jump on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from and make sure you comment and ask me questions. Hopefully, if I don't catch your comments, I do apologize. Sometimes they fly past and I don't get a chance to actually read everyone's comments. So I do apologize. So don't think that I'm ignoring you. I'm not. It's just that sometimes they float past so quickly that I don't get a chance to see. So please feel free to share this back onto your social media. So back onto your Facebook um, profile. So that maybe other people that are on your friends list um, might be able to um, check it out. And I'm just looking up there why it says a sneak peek of the whimsy and wonder. I changed all of the um, <coughs> all of the details and it's now saying the same thing and it shouldn't. Uh, um, modern technology who would know um i'm going to do um i'm going to see if i can change it now while i'm live um and see if it will actually work so i'm actually going to show you how to add texture um to your cards so um there's many many ways uh that you can do that i'm just going to make sure i've got that um next okay so i'm hoping am i on youtube can everyone see me on youtube um i'm hoping it's all on okay i may have disappeared on youtube there for a little while but anyway i'll i'll update the um the details when i go back in later on all good. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to show you how to add texture to your cards. So you can add texture by using embossing folders. You can add texture by um, stamping. Um, you can add texture by creating different layers. You can add texture um, by embossing backgrounds. Um, there's way, way, way um many, many ways that you can add texture to your projects. So um, I'm hopefully going to show you. Um, how to add texture and it may change your way of crafting so um welcome everybody that's jumping on so if you're new to my channel my name is donna gray i'm a stamping up demonstrator from the northern rivers area in new south wales australia i sell australia wide so no matter where you live in australia i can um you can purchase from my online store and if you just go over to my website which you'll see down there on the bottom of the screen stampingwithdonnag.com and you will find absolutely everything i do with my stamping up business Business, as well as tutorials that I that I sell, um, online classes that I sell, in-person classes that I do. You can find it all over there on my website. And if you are a person that is not comfortable with ordering on um, the internet and you would actually like to order in person, then here is my mobile phone number. So, um, and my phone number is always in the description of the video and always um, in the show more box in uh, on YouTube. So if you ever want to uh, purchase any products or even contact me in any way, by all means, please um, jump on over to my website or give me a call. 
okay? So I'll leave my website there so you can see it throughout the video. So I'll just um, pop you down now and we will just go through a few things that's happening with Stamping Up at the moment. So um, we're stamping up at the moment. We have our brand new mini catalog. Now our mini catalog is going to go live on Wednesday this week coming. So I'm super, super excited. On Wednesday, I'll be able to show you inside this catalog. I have showed you quite a few things from the catalog that I have purchased in my pre-order. Um, but on Wednesday, I will be able to do a walkthrough of the catalog. So if you haven't got a demonstrator in Australia and you would love to get your hands on the catalogs please by all means i have a mailing list in the description of the video here um, if you want to click on the mailing list and subscribe to my mailing list i would be more than happy to send you out a complimentary catalog um, in the post but please remember that these catalogs do cost us money so if you're already dealing with a demonstrator please contact them if you're not and you are interested then by all means fill in the registration so of course Celebration is about to start. So on the 3rd of August, this catalogue goes live on the 3rd of August and Celebration starts. And if you're new to stamping up and you don't understand what Celebration is, we have this tiny little catalogue and there's gorgeous things in this catalogue and you can earn things out of this catalogue for free. So for every $90 sale, every $90 order that you place, you will earn a level one item out of this catalogue. There's a couple of level two items, which of course, um, that means if you spend $180, you will earn a level two item or two level one items. So it's super fun. It's awesome that when you shop, you can actually earn for free and it's an exciting time. So celebration is going to run through from the 3rd of August to the 30th of September. So you've got two months to cash in on all of these nice free um, goodies that you can get. Okay. We only have a couple of days left. So um, on Tuesday, no, Monday, is it Monday? What's the date today? The date today is the first. So tomorrow, the um, designer series paper sale ends tomorrow. So if you um, want to get some last minute designer series paper that's on sale, by all means, jump onto my online store and check that out. So our stamps club for the month of August is going to be the Beauty of Tomorrow uh, stamp set. So if you are interested in getting a little bit of inspiration delivered to your doorstep, then you may want to join my monthly stamps club. So for the basic monthly stamps club, it costs you $50 per month. For that $50, you will get the Beauty of Tomorrow stamp set. You will get a card kit to make six cards and you will get a video tutorial showing you step by step how to make the six cards that I design in the Stamps Club. So it's a great way to get inspiration to your doorstep. If you already own the Beauty of Tomorrow stamp set, then um, you can swap it out for something to the same value. Um, so you're never ever stuck with having to get that exact stamp. If you already own it, you don't ever double up, you can swap it out for something else. So it's a great way to get inspiration to your doorstep every month and to get your products out and start using your products. So I also have my two-day Christmas um, craft retreat and the craft retreats are happening the last weekend in October. So it's the 30th and 31st of October and I have another one on the 6th and the 7th of November. I have limited spots left. I've only got a couple of spots left in both of those retreats. It's at my place. Um, here in the Northern New, uh, Northern Rivers area in New South Wales at Ganelaba. Um, people do travel depending on what the borders are doing at that stage. Um, but it's okay because even if you actually do book to be in person and something happens and you can't get here, we can always send it out as a retreat in a box for you. So, um, so you never, you're not going to miss out. So please, if you're interested, jump on over to my website and book your spot because there's like, I think three left on on the 30th three spots left and I think there's about four spots left on the fifth and the sixth or I could have it the wrong way around but okay now of course with the brand new catalog and with celebration happening we are actually going to have a great joining special so now I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about joining Stampin' Up and what it means to join Stampin' Up because it is absolutely the best decision that I made um, as far as my crafting was concerned, because I, I joined just to get a discount off my products, which the majority of my team do. You can wholly and solely, you do not have to demonstrate. You will be called a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but you do not have to demonstrate the products. You can buy wholly and solely and just get a 20% discount right off the bat. And 
for the month of August and the month of September, we have this awesome special that you get a free bonus bundle. So that means that you can choose a bundle and put it in your starter kit, as well as choosing your $235 worth of product. You get a free bundle on top of that and you still only pay $169. So if you've been seriously sitting on the fence and you want to get your crafting products at a discount, then by all means, reach out to me. I'm happy if you wanted to call me. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. There is absolutely no catches whatsoever. And I just want to say to people that one of the main things that I think a lot of people worry about when it comes to joining something is that they're joining a business, that they're joining something that they're going to have to spend. Yes, you do have to spend to make your quarterly amounts, but if you don't make your quarterly amounts, you just lose your discount or you repurchase the starter kit again. So there is absolutely nothing to lose. So, um, and there's nothing to be scared of. No one hounds you for money and no one will take money out of your account um, that you don't authorize. So, um, so there's absolutely nothing. All it is, is being a part of a crafty community. My team are all over Australia and we are an awesome bunch of girls that live everywhere all over all places we've got them in western australia northern queensland tasmania victoria new south wales you name it we have team members all over australia and it's our team is growing every month it is super super exciting to see that team grow but it's all about being a part of a crafty community we get together once a month and we craft together we have a monthly team meeting that we celebrate everyone's successes we say happy birthday to everybody we we absolutely just have a great friendly time so if you want to be a part of a crafty community and be inspired with your crafting then i really urge you to join my team because joining the wild heart crafters is just a great crafty community all right so let's get to crafting because i think that's enough of all of the um the business talk um so what i wanted to do this morning was I have a color combination here and I have um, this gorgeous stamp set. So this is actually a suite that's in our new catalog and it's called Nature's Harvest. So we have some designer series paper that goes with it. Um, it also has some gorgeous dyes. Uh, so I thought what I would do, and it's got some great textured background stamping here as well. So I thought what I'd do is do a quick card and show you how you can use designer series paper to make it look like you've got texture. So it actually has this gorgeous paper here that looks like cork and it feels like cork. It, it feels like a really, really thin layer of cork it's absolutely amazing so you can see there straight away that you've got texture um in uh just in the paper itself so um okay i'm just trying to see rhonda's what rhonda's asking here um anyway okay so um, I'm going to create a card. So I looked on the back of the designer series paper. I'll, I'll just show you through that designer series paper what we've got. So you can see here that it's got Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee as some of the colouring. It's got Crumb Cake as some of the colouring. It's got um, Cajun Craze um, as uh, some of the colouring as well. And it's also got our new in colour, Soft Succulent. Succulent. Um, <laughs> No, I said cork, Matthew. Uh, so you can see here that we've got some gorgeous papers here in that colouring. So what I actually decided to do was I thought I will uh, get out the designer series paper. I will get out the colours that go with the designer series paper and we will go from there and create a cute card. All right. So I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe just do a crumb cake base to start off with so i've got a layer of uh, a card base so that's what i actually do i go through the designer series paper and get out the color palette that they have in the designer series paper so you can see here this is the color palette that goes with that so we've got our misty moonlight crumb cake soft succulent cajun craze and our bumblebee so um so 
if you're ever stuck for inspiration, by all means, just go to our designer series paper and that will actually give you a little bit of a, a color palette to work with and then go from there. Okay, so we've got that. And then I think what I might do is I'm thinking the Cajun craze. I think I might um, do a layer of that. So I'll just cut that as a layer. Okay, so we've got, um, I'll do that at three and three quarters. Now, if you want the measurements, um, I always pick one of my projects that I do on the Saturday or the Sunday live crafting, and I um, I do a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial in an email sent out to you. So if you actually want to get on that email list, you'll find that as if you sign up to my email list, um, you will grab, you will get a um, all the measurements that I use in my tutorial. So I'm actually going to cut this. I think what I'm going to do is just cut a three by four inch square of this because I don't think I want a massive amount of this. So a three by four inch square. Okay. So we've got that. And then I think what I want to do is... I think I want to do just a piece of, I probably should have done very vanilla, but I've got Whisper White here and I'm just going to cut it down an eighth of an inch so that I get a border of that Cajun craze behind it. Okay, so we have that. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of stamping in the background um, and then we might emboss. I've got all of my embossing folders out in a basket behind me. So I thought I might play around a little bit with that and see how I go. All right. So the first thing what I want to do is there's this gorgeous, lovely, big flower that is in the set. And there is also, as I said, that um, there's cute little flowers. So we've got two lots of flowers here. Thank you for sharing, Kay. And we've also got this little splotchy type of thing that is uh, great for adding a little bit of texture in the background on your cart. So I think what I'll do is go with our crumb cake and I'm just going to create a little bit of texture just all over the back of that card. So, And I think I want to stamp off, so I don't want it to be too dark. So I think I'll just take a scrap piece of paper and I'll stamp off as I go. So I'm just going to ink it up, stamp off and stamp on. And then I'm just going to keep going until I run out of ink on there. So I'm going to ink up, stamp off and stamp on. Okay, so you can see there I'm just using up some of the ink that's on it to give me a great textured background and I just want to use that because it might yeah so I'm stamping off all the time to get a really lighter effect but can you see there that we've now got quite a bit of texture just in the stamping okay but then I want to take that to another level I actually want to emboss so that I get a little bit more texture on that. So I'm just going to grab one of my embossing folders. And I do have a new one, actually. We might try this one. So we have this one here, which is called our Timber 3D embossing folder. I only just got it because it wasn't available when we did our pre-order, but they've now actually... Um, it's now come out. So you can see it's got that timber wood grain look. So I'm actually going to pop my cardstock in there and I'm going to emboss that with that timber wood grain look. So I'm just going to bring in the cut and emboss. Okay. Now, for this one, we just need our base plate. So our number one plate. Because this is a 3D folder, we need our number one plate and our grey uh, number four plate. 
And I'm going to pop that going through my embossing machine with the fold first. Now, with our embossing folders, if you've got the Stampin' Up! emblem facing up towards you, that means that's the right side of that embossing folder. So I'm just going to run that through. So sometimes when you stamp and, um, and you actually emboss after you've stamped, it just gives it that extra oomph to your to your card so you can see there look at that can you see that so straight away we have created texture by stamping as well as embossing dry embossing with an embossing folder now um if you if you know me well you will know that i use embossing folders quite a lot i love embossing folders for the simple fact that um that the embossing just takes your crafting to a whole new level. All right, so now I'm actually going to add a little bit more texture by distressing the edges of our cardstock. So I'm just going to, with my scissors, run the blade of my scissors down the edge of my cardstock. And can you see I'm getting that distressed look? Okay. So I'm just running the blade of my scissors down and it doesn't matter that it cuts into it a little bit. That's totally okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. So we've got that layer there that we've got that nice distressed look on. Now what I'm going to do with this one here, I'm actually going to tear part of this layer because I think it would look nice if I just have... A nice torn piece of that on there. I'm also going to distress those edges as well. And the the um, idea of this card swap is that we want to try and add as much texture and drum up our cards as much as we possibly can. Okay, so I've got that in there. I've still got my lovely bit of cork, um, which I think I might do that. So I don't know whether I will be able to distress this. I'm going to have a go. It's actually a bit, because it's so fine, I'm a bit worried about distressing it a bit. But anyway, we'll have a go. So how is everyone today? It's nice sunny weather here too. Jenny's saying um, you've got nice sunny weather. It's nice and sunny here for us too. It's been a beautiful weekend. Okay. I'm actually going to crumple that up. <laughs> you were like, oh, my God, what is she doing? And I'm going to pop that in underneath there. So we're, we're, the aim of the game is to get as much texture as we possibly can in this card. I also think... I might just, I'm looking at that and it's looking a little bit plain. So I think I might just, with um, some of the Cajun Craze, I'm just going to do some tone-on-tone -tone stamping, if I can find my Cajun Craze. Um, where is it? Ah, right down there. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do a little bit of tone-on-tone -tone stamping here, just to create a little bit more of a background. so that that doesn't look as light as what it did and bare. Okay, so you can see there now we've got a little bit more, um, a bit more texture happening in that card. So now let's put that together and see what it's going to look like. That's looking good, that's looking good, and that's looking quite good, quite happy with that. All right, so now what I'm actually going to do is I want to stamp this large flower. Um, and I think I'm going to use some sponge daubers because I don't sort of want this flower to be um, all one colour. So I feel like I want to use my sponge daubers to colour it. So I'm feeling like Cajun craze for the um, these bits here like that and maybe 
I don't know, that. Okay. And then I feel like I want to use Early Espresso. No, I don't. I want to use Bumblebee. Let's use Bumblebee. So I'll grab that one. And we'll do Bumblebee for the petals on our flower. Like that. And then I think I want to use something like maybe Mossy Meadow. Yep, Mossy Meadow as the, the um, stems of my plant. So we'll do that one. Okay, so this is a great way of um, – just had to be careful there. This is a great way of getting a multicoloured stem. You could use your stamp and write markers if you liked. I'm not one for using the stamp and write markers to colour, but um, you could if you wanted to use the stamp and write markers. But that to me is going to be totally okay for what I want to do. Okay. All right. So now I'm actually going to grab a piece of Whisper White and I'm just going to huff on this. And I'm going to stamp that onto my Whisper White piece. Okay. All right. There we go. Isn't that just a gorgeous flower? So just by using your sponge daubers, you can easily colour one whole image like that and get a gorgeous flower. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> it's funny when you just do it and you go, oh, wow, look, that turned out. It's amazing. Okay, I've got to find my dies. I've lost my dies under all this. Where did I put them? There they are. Okay, so now I should have a die, I think, that will cut that out. Yes, correct. So we will grab that and cut that out. I'll just close up my ink pads. Okay. Now I'll bring in the cut and emboss again. So this time we're actually going to cut. So I'm going to need my base plate, number one. I'm going to need my number two. And I'm also going to need two cutting pads. So I've got one there. I'm going to pop my stamped image on there and I'm actually going to use a little bit of washi tape because lately I have been, my dies have been moving on me and I've been a bit haphazard with it. So a little bit of washi tape on there and then I'm going to pop that plate on and run it through. Hey Anne from Bribey Island, how are you? Uh, Elfie saying, never a doubt about um, the sponge daubers. I know, they are an awesome thing to use to colour with. Okay, so we have that cute flower that we have stamped with our sponge daubers. And look at that. Stunning. All right, so now I'm just going to pop this card together. Pop the die back on there. I do want a sentiment though, and we've got, what have we got? Well, that sentiment there in this stamp set is, um, sounds quite good. A reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. So that sounds really, really awesome. Is that it? Oh, no, here. Sending healing thoughts, may nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. Okay, that's the one I'm going to use because it's going to fit into this. So let's do that on our scrap piece of paper here. And I think I'm going to do that in, do you think Mossy Meadow or do you think Cajun Craze for the sentiment? Type into the comments and let me know. Mossy Meadow or Cajun Craze? I'll just grab a block to mount that up on. So what do you think about the sentiment? Mossy Meadow or Cajun Craze for... Um, for the sentiment. 
type it into the comments and let me see. So I've got Mossy Meadow there or I've got Cajun Craze. So let me know. Um, Doris is saying Cajun Craze. Um, Rosalind's saying Mossy Meadow, Mossy Meadow. So I've got th four Mossy Meadows, two Cajun, uh, five Mossy Meadows. So we're going to do Mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow got the vote. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. Ink up that. Sorry, my head was in the way then. And I'm just going to stamp that down. Okay. And then we'll just bring in the cut and emboss again and we'll cut that out. Okay. Now this is probably when you would use um, your mini cut and emboss. But my big one is here and I'm just going to use it. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to line that up and I'm going to pop my, we need to center that a little bit. I'm going to pop my painter's tape over the top and run that through. I think that will be great. Now there is also that goes with this suite there's also some great to me it looks like a like crocheted type of ribbon let me see here it is here this one here so I feel like I might put some of that on here somewhere although I might do it and then I might go I don't know about that this is coming together quite nice I've got to make four cards today, so I have to have four cards that are going to, to do for this. Whoops. That was just my plate on my cut and emboss falling on the ground. Okay. And my scissors. All right. So I may put some of this. I don't know. What do you think? Ooh, just underneath the sentiment. What do you think? <laughs> Morning, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan's in another room in the house saying good morning to me. All right. What do you think? Oh, and Denny Lee's there too. Sorry, Denny, I missed you. I seen Jordan and then you need to put the fire fire, Denny. Can't see you when you don't put the fire fire. <laughs> Denny's saying, oh, so Denny Lee and Jordan, um, uh, well, Denny Lee's my daughter and Jordan's her boyfriend. So they're in the house giving me um, directions on my card. All right. The ribbon looks great there. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to have a bit of that ribbon right there. <laughs> Jenny's saying, hello, Denny Lee. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually going to glue that one down just directly onto my card. So we'll do that. Okay. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on this one and pop it in there like that. Now, I'm quite happy with that being um, that it's not going to be all glued down. That's totally okay. And I think this one here, I think I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of that one. Just to add a little bit more dimension to the card. Denny's telling me it adds texture. <laughs> Maybe we should get Denny and Jordan to come out here and help me make a card. What do you think? Who votes that we get Denny and Jordan to come out and craft with me? All right. So I'm just going to, oops, 
yeah no I had it that way like that <laughs> Danny Lee saying maybe we shouldn't <laughs> they're all saying yes why not they're saying yes why not okay I'm going to pop this one up onto dimensionals as well let them help look at everyone voting let them help yes that would be awesome there you go that'll probably be the last time they comment on my video <laughs> okay bye now <laughs> yeah see they're going see you scared them off the thought of actually having to come and craft with me scared them off come out wherever you are <laughs> oh dear Okay, so I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back of this flower so we can pop it up. Okay. Oh, Denny, Jenny's calling you a chicken. They do come and craft with me. I was up at the Gold Coast craft show and they, um, Denny sat down and started crafting at the table. She made one card. All right. So I'm going to pop that one there like that. Our sentiment's going to go across here. And I think I'm going to do just some seal plus on the back and we'll see if we can glue that ribbon onto that. A little bit like that. Okay, so like that. And then we'll um, pop a couple of dimensionals just on the ends. And a bit of glue in that middle section because the middle section will... Um, be sitting on that flower. So I'll just pop a little bit of Tombow just in the middle. So that's not a bad card considering I really didn't have much in mind. It just came together. Now, we need a little bit of bling, don't you think? I'm sure it needs a bit of bling just to bling it up a little bit. And we have these, which are the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. So I think we can pop a few of them on and that will just bling it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we have to have bling. So do we go gold, do you think, gold, or do we do a bit of everything? We could go a bit of everything, couldn't we? That, that, and maybe one of those. That looks quite nice. So now for the insert, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to huff on that um, that flower that we had and see if there's any ink left on it and I'm just going to so breathing on it just um, moistens the stamp again and I'm just going to stamp that and see what we can get it may work it may not mm, it may not let's get our daubers out again and ink it up okay so we're going to do the Cajun craze We can go again. There's two sides to cardstock. So we'll do a bit up there, a bit there, and a bit down there. And we'll do some bumblebee, which was that one there. And my bumblebee ink is there. Okay. You do know I just wing it. Every time I get on here, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I just 
I have an idea of the stamp sets I'm going to use, but I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I have no plan. It just comes together. Okay. So this is the Mossy Meadow. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stamp off a little bit, seeing as that second generation didn't work real well. I'm just going to do this on the inside of the card. Okay. Oh, and we missed a couple of lines there. So I can actually, with my Mossy Meadow, do you think I can do this? So where I've missed the stamping, no one will ever know. Look at that. No one would ever know that I missed the stamping there. <laughs> That's what your stamp and write markers come in handy for. All right. So I suppose I should probably distress this one as well. Seeing we've got it distressed on the front, we should probably distress the layer on the insert as well. I'm going to see if I've got anything left on that stamp now before it gets too dry. And see if I can do my envelope. Um, let me go here. How's that? Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So I've got an envelope ready to go. Um, my insert, I'll just glue. Oh, no, that's right. I was going to distress it. Um, Peggy's saying, I made a card yesterday and glued the one layer to the card base. Bummer, it was supposed to first go onto another layer. You're able to fix it and continue. Exactly. There's never, ever any mistakes in crafting. Let me tell you, there is never any mistakes. There is always something. Um, use the other bit of the paper I tore off on the other side. Like this. Or we could tear it a little bit more. It's covering a little bit too much, I think. Let's go like this. What do you think? Oh, look at that. What do you think? Great idea. Great idea, Judy. So I'm just going to do that. That looks good. And I'm going to distress the edges. Okay, so Peggy... Uh, the question is, so Anika said, how? How did you fix it, Peggy? So type into the comments and let me know how you fixed it. Uh, Peggy says, the card base became the new layer and made another card base. Exactly. So you cut. Yeah. Well done. Okay. So if you're interested, if you're on Facebook and you're interested in being a part of my global um, card swap group, it's called um, Stamping with Donna G, Handmade Card Swap Group. Uh, so if you want to um, have a look and do a search for it, uh, we do a global swap every month. We have a theme every month. And so the theme this month is texture. So we wanted our cards to have... I, I got this idea, and it's not my idea. I got the idea from Stamping with Ruth. And I want to put that at a different angle too so that it doesn't look um, regimented and straight, you know what I mean? So I'll pop that to the insert of my card, and that is one of my textured cards done. Okay. So there we have it. Card number one. If you absolutely love what I did, if you're on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up because YouTube loves it when you hit the thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, please hit the like button or um, the hearts and show me some love because Facebook likes that as well and they like to show your videos way more if you do that. So um, if you love what I've done, as I said, please give me the thumbs up. And we'll move on to our next card. So that one there was using uh, the stamp set called Nature's Harvest. 
and we used the 3D timber embossing folder in behind um, and just the colour scheme that goes with uh, that beautiful suite. All right, so let's move on to card number two. I'll just clean up this mess a little bit first because... I do this all the time and then I end up with things absolutely everywhere. So bear with me until I put things back um, so I'm not in such a mess. Let's go there. Okay. Um, and I'll put my dies back in there and I'll pop the stamps aside and I'll clean them when I'm finished later on. Oh, there's another die. Nearly lost that one. Okay. Although I did on the ground as usual. I need one of those little um, magnet picker-upper things. Have you heard about them? You can get them apparently at Bunnings so that when you actually uh, drop your dies, you don't have to bend over. You can just, it's on the end of a stick and you just um, pop the, the magnet down and it picks up your die off the ground. All right, so I've cleaned up a bit. We'll move on. I'll pop that one up there. We'll move on to the next one. Okay. So the next thing I thought was, um, seeing as uh, this is going to be my stamps club for the month, I thought we may as well use the Beauty of Tomorrow stamp set and see if I can do some type of textured card with this one. And of course, once again, this has a little splat that we can get like the look of um, a bit of texture in behind, but we've also got some gorgeous dies. So this one here is out of our brand new um, catalog that will be going live on uh, Wednesday next week. Um, so if you absolutely love this, you may want to join my stamps club. As I said, it is uh, $50 and you'll get this stamp set and you'll get the card kit to make um, the six cards and you'll get a video tutorial. So um, let's see what we can do with this one. All right, so the colors in this one are um, the Blackberry Beauty. Let me see what we have as far as the color scheme with this. I'll bring in the designer series paper so you can see what we've got. So this is gorgeous. So we've got um, Blackberry Bliss, we've got Rich Razzleberry, we've got Cinnamon Cider, we've also got Gold, um, it looks like Soft Suede. So we've got some pretty gorgeous colours here. I absolutely love this one. I love that. So let's do something with that colour scheme. So um, it's got Gold. It's got soft suede um, and I'm, I'm feeling like that is like uh, Sahara sand in the background. I'm not sure if anyone knows um, what is the definite colour scheme because I don't have the backing board to it. I don't think I do at the moment. No. Anyway. All right. And we also have this that goes with it as well the ephemera pack so we may be able to use something out of that i'm not sure but we'll see how we go so i do want to use this as part of the layer on the front of my card and i actually feel like um something like that so let's see i'm gonna do sahara sand as my card base because i think sahara sand Oh, no, it doesn't even look like Sahara sand. Okay, let's change that. Let's do maybe soft suede as my card base. Or, no, I know what I'm going to do. Early espresso as my card base. Yes, for sure. Okay, so let's do early espresso as my card base. Okay, so I'm just going to fold that in half. Okay, so I'm going to cut this into a layer. So I'm thinking we will do um, that there. Let me see what I get there. That by um, that. I 
actually I want to go further. I want a little bit more of that up there. So let's do that and go I'll cut a little bit off the bottom there. That looks cute. Okay, so we've got that. Um, maybe a soft suede layer in behind. Okay, so we might trim that. Do I want a soft suede layer in behind? What do you think? I really feel like I need gold in behind. I don't have any gold out here, I don't think, or do I? Oh, I know what I could use. How about a strip of this? That's going to add a little bit of texture. Look at that. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to cut a strip of that. So let's do as far wide as we can. Um, about there. Can we do it? No, we can't do an inch. We'll do three quarters of an inch. Yep. That. Okay, so that's going to add a little bit of texture. I still need a, a, a base in behind, so I'm going to go with this one. Cinnamon cider. Okay, let's try cinnamon cider and see if that looks all right with it. We can do that. Oh, yes. Okay, let's try cinnamon cider. Great choice. Great choice. Okay. I'm still going to probably use some of that somewhere. Okay. So we've got that. Now, um, I really love this. And I think, um, I, think I, I absolutely love that the delicateness of that that flower there and we can cut that out so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp that in we could do that in cinnamon cider so let's do that okay so i'll grab a block for that one and we might go cinnamon cider And I, I'm going to go white because I've got the layers out here. So I'm just going to go white with it. So let's ink that up in cinnamon cider and stamp it down. Okay. Now, I'm thinking a bit of this in behind. I'm going to cut that out for a start. So let's just run that through the cut and emboss. I really feel like I want to get some gold... Pop that on. I feel like I want to get some gold, um, cut out some gold and then emboss it in behind. But we'll see. So that. I could still emboss that layer that's in behind. Even though it's gorgeous paper, we could emboss it to get a little bit more texture happening. So we've got our gorgeous die cut. And 
yeah i need to do something in the background the background's just not happening needs more okay so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to grab some sort of embossing folder for that background and i think i could probably do this one here so the 3d textile texture one i think i'm going to do that on that and I know that you probably think, oh, my God, it's gorgeous paper. But you wait until you see what it looks like once you add that texture to it. So we're going to use the cut and emboss again. And as I said, with the number one plate and our grey plate. Okay, the grey plate. So I've got my emblem facing up towards me and we also have this line on our embossing folders that you can actually line up the edge of your paper on that line at the bottom and that way you can actually make sure that the pattern then looks quite straight on it and I've got the emblem facing up I've got my fold going through my embossing machine first and you never go backwards with your yeah gold vellum oh gold vellum Ooh, okay i've just had a thought now can you see that i don't know whether it's real easy to see but the texture on that now is awesome okay so we'll do that gold shimmer vellum i'm sure i've got some here i need to have a look i need to have a look um do I have it here? Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay. Bear with me. Hopefully nothing falls off this pile. We have gold shimmer vellum. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so let's use some of that. All right, so I've got that. I've got that. I'm feeling like I, I don't know. I've got that. I'm going to glue these together for a start. I'm actually going to distress the edges too. <laughs> I'm into this distressing at the moment, can you tell? But if you distress the edges, it then looks more textured. And, you know, seeing as it's my card swap, I really need to make sure I add as much texture as I can to everything I do. Okay. Um, the embossing folder, Linda, was the 3D textile. Um, if someone knows what it's called, please. Um, I'm sure it was the 3D textile embossing folder. If someone knows the exact name, textured textiles. There you go. <laughs> I was going to say, if someone knows the exact name, please say it. <laughs> I know it went with the, um, the like, which stamp it went with, and I love it. But, yeah. Morning, Susan. How are you? Susan, I'm going to send you a, a personal message later on after I'm finished my video. Just wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll send you a PM on, on Facebook when I'm finished. Okay, now, as I said, I don't mind if I tear the paper a little bit because that adds to the look. Okay, and I want them to be at a little bit of an angle so that it's not totally straight. So that's looking good. And I like that. But how am I going to incorporate? I think what I, I'm just wondering if that's a little bit too much in behind that. We will see. I'm going to punch a two and a quarter inch circle out of that one or okay that one or I'm going to go um, normal vellum and do an a quarter two and a quarter inch circle out of the normal vellum 
I'm probably going to emboss it as well. Um, and what can I emboss it with? Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to do the uh, 3D, the brick embossing folder. So let's put both of them in and let's see which one we want to do. Hey, Rose, how are you? Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to do those two. I think I'm going to get all four cards done today in my videos. I'm going to run that one through. And I have just found, okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so you need to tell me which one we're going to do. I am going to put that bit of um, gold metallic paper in there because it's got real texture. So I really definitely need to use that. But I feel like, although maybe if we did two circles and then we did that on top or oh, I don't want to cover up too much of my we could go the other way I don't want to cover up too much of that beautiful paper in behind let's do this and this in behind and then this on top what do you think Um, so love to distress clear vellum. Um, Rose, Jenny Rose is from New York. <laughs> In case you're wondering, Ro it's Rose Ward, my friend. Hey, Jackie, how are you going? Okay. So I'm thinking I want to do something like that. Okay, so the other thing was I thought of maybe doing some of these. Maybe I could do a gold. No, I want to actually do this. I, I sort of feel like if I did this and this in gold, no, even just that, I think that in gold and then like gold foil, and then actually just um, emboss it. Or, hang on. Ooh, what do you think? I'm bringing out all the stops today, aren't I? <laughs> Let's try cutting one of these out and see what it looks like in behind. Oh. I mean, we have to throw all the texture we can at this. We really do. So I'm going to cut one of those out in that and see what happens. I'll just do that off screen because it will take me five seconds instead of bringing the cut and boss back in. So we'll do that and run it through. Okay, what about if we put this in behind here? Oh, look at that. What do you think? And then we've still got to have a sentiment. So what have we got? Um, and I could do a cinnamon cider little leaf coming out through here. I'm hiding the gold circle. I am hiding the gold circle. Thanks, Rose. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't Rose. It was Stephanie. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we can't hide the gold circle. We need the gold circle to come out too. So let's go like this. There. We didn't want to hide that gold circle. Yeah, I think that's looking good. And then I think that's enough. And then we just um, – oh, we have – I wonder whether that will fit. Okay, let's stamp this one. I know this is, is, this is a difficult day, so let's stamp that. 
on to ooh let's stamp it up there in i'm thinking early espresso early espresso and then i'll cut it out Okay, so that's early espresso on the designer series paper. And I'll grab, I'm thinking my one and three quarter inch punch. We'll punch that out and I'll get a two inch punch that we can back it with. One and three quarter. Oh, I could even go one and a half. Do I have a one and a half? One and a half. Let's see if I can go one and a half. Oh, no, that was my two-inch punch I just did. Yeah, one and a half will do it. Okay, so let's go like that. One and a half. And let's just go one and three quarter in. Oh, I'm feeling like it needs a bit of early espresso behind it. Although, no. No. Let's do a bit of bling. Let's do one and three quarters in that. In behind there. Yep. Okay. So we've got that and that, and I'm going to pop that down there. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so I think that's all going to come together pretty well. Now I've just got to <laughs> glue it all together. Okay, so let's pull all that off there like that and sit it aside so we don't lose the whole theme of it all. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down at that funny jaunty sort of angle there, just. And then this one's going to go that way a little bit. So we've got the texture in the background there with our designer series paper. Okay, so we've also got the texture with our circles here. So the circles, I'm going to pop those on just there like that. So I'm just going to, with my Seal Plus, pop some Seal Plus on that one. And it's going to pop down there like that. And then this one bit of seal plus like that now this one I actually have um, my I've got some of the double-sided adhesive on the back so I'm just going to peel that off and it can go right there okay now this one I'm going to glue with my seal plus directly down on there so like that this one i feel like i should pop it up because we need to have that bit of texture happening and these i feel like i need to pop them up as well so i need to find there's my um leftover dimensionals okay so let's pop those on there and take that off okay there and that one can go on to there and I've got a little bit of dimensional sticking out there and we don't want that there 
Okay, so we've got that. And I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of this one. Because even dimension adds the texture to your card as well. So that's what I was sort of trying to say before, that um, adding dimension, adding layers, it all adds texture to your card. The glimmer paper is very pretty. So that is the Be Dazzling um, glimmer paper. And that is from our celebration. It's a free item. So uh, at the beginning of... Um, of Oh, I could even, at the beginning of August, so on the 3rd of August, you can earn it for free. Oh, what about up in there? And then I'll tie a bow on here. <laughs> I think I'm going to pop that up there. I think that looks – I'm actually not going to pop it up. I'm actually going to glue it down, and I think that was one that still had that backing, the double-sided adhesive on the back. I think it did. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure. doesn't seem to want to come off. Let me see. Did it or didn't it? It should have. It was from the same sheet. Yes, it did. Okay. So we're going to pop that up in there and I'm going to pop um, a gold bow. I wonder do I have or oh, I have I think maybe linen thread. I think linen will stick with the, um, with the theme. Once I pop the bow on, it'll take its place. It was it just crowded the bottom too much, I think, with the sentiment down the bottom. Okay, so let's do a double bow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've only just seen the comments about I like the sentiment at, at the bottom after I'd already put it up the top. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't quite looking at the comments when I decided where I was going to put it. But once you pop a bow there, that looks super cute, I think. And we'll have some long threads on our bow. So we'll pop the bow there. And I need a glue dot for that one. Well, that's two of my cards done. I've got another idea, though. What time is it? 10.41. I've been going for ages. Okay, so we'll pop that one there. And we just need to do a quick insert for that one. So I think what I'm going to do on the insert is just with um, that stamp that we stamped, I'm going to ink it up again with our cinnamon cider. And I'm going to stamp off and stamp it on inside so that stamp off and then stamp on like that okay so what's it say I know it's a difficulty I'm here for you. I'm going to do that. I'm here for you. So we'll do that. And I'm going to do it in early, express, uh, early espresso. I'm here for you. Just there. I'm here for you. Okay. And I think I'm probably going to add some bling to that again from um, these ones. So I'll just add the layer to the insert first. So if you end up being one of my lucky swap partners, you're probably going to get one of these cards. Okay, so we'll bring in these gorgeous um brushed metallic gems again and i think i'm just going to use 
these gorgeous ones. And a little one just there. Okay, now we also need an envelope for that one. So I'm going to grab an envelope. And I'm just going to, with that, the remainder of that, I'll use my, and we'll just stamp that down on the bottom. Oh, and I did a halo. Let's grab another one. We don't want to do that. We don't want to have a halo on there for them. Okay, let's ink that up again with our cinnamon cider. Okay, I'm going to... I actually don't think I'm going to stamp off. I think I'm going to just stamp it like that and then on the back like that. Look at that. Okay. So what do you think about that one? New card? Gorgeous with the bow there. A very autumn coloured card, I know, and it's not autumn here, it's winter here, but anyway. All right, so the next one that I wanted to bring out was, I actually want to bring out these dies for a start. So these are the pierced bloom dies, so I wanted to bring out those. I also want to check, now this one definitely is from Stamping with Ruth. I, I watched her do it and I thought it was so, so much fun. Um, so I'm just going to play around a little bit with the dies and see how we go. All right, so um, colour scheme. I need a colour scheme. Anyone got a colour scheme what they think I should use? Type into the comments and tell me what type of colour scheme you think I should use while I just clean up here a little bit. So pop those in to there. Oh, that's not the one into there. So tell me whether you have um, a colour scheme that I should use. Um, I feel like I've gone with the real autumn colours this morning. I feel like I want to do something a little bit like, oh, you know me. I mean, I love doing things. Oh, I know. Let's do... A navy blue. Oh, what do we got? Oranges and yellows. Black and silver. Oh, my God. A person after my own heart. Black and silver. <laughs> black and silver. Do we want to do a black and silver? I mean, God, that just, um, yeah. You know me. <laughs> Doesn't take much. Although, now in saying that, I can see where my silver foil was. That was really, really, ah, there. Okay. I could maybe do something with some of this. Um, regals. <laughs> Brights, unless I'm sticking with the regals. Evergreen. Purples, as it's almost um, true winter there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm honestly going to go black and silver to start off with, okay? So, I'm going to start with a white base, I think. Okay, so let's start with a white base. Um, and a black layer on the white base. Oh, wow, I need to put some of these punches away. I've got punches out here galore. So I'm thinking um, a black base. Okay, so let's do the black base. Let's go a little bit smaller with our base. Um, let's go to three and a half. five and a quarter okay so let's do that and 
And oh, I could do. I'm I'm not sure just yet. I'll have to wait and see. So let's cut out some black, some white flowers, and some black leaves. I think. So let's do the leaves in black. Let's do the flowers in white. Okay, let's go like that. And I actually do think that I could probably do some grey flowers. We've got some leaves here, quite a lot of leaves. So let's do a whole heap of leaves. I've got no idea what I'm doing here, but we will soon see. Okay, so we've got a whole heap of leaves and we've got some flowers. So I think for the flowers, I'm going to do some white flowers and I'm also going to do some grey flowers. So let's bring in the cut and emboss. Okay, so let's cut some of these white flowers out of my scrap piece that I have here. Now you wait until you see what I do with these flowers. So we'll do some white flowers to start off with. Um, and where is my other plate? <laughs> How did I lose the plate to my cut and emboss machine? It's okay. I'll just grab another one. Somehow I lost the plate. I apologise for... This plate that I'm going to bring in, where in the world did it be? It's not under there, and it's not there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. I think this might have to be my last card, and I'll have to make one more. <laughs> I mean, I've been a fair while today, and I've only made two cards so far. So we've got that. I'm going to grab some grey, and we'll... Do some grey ones and these flowers as well. So some basic grey, I think, I'll bring in. So I always like to have like the back and the black and the basic grey are two great colour combinations. Okay. So I'll just pop those flowers out. So you can see these flowers are really cute. So we've got the stitching on them anyway. So you've got a bit of texture happening just with the dies themselves but you wait until you see what I'm going to do with them okay so we've got that so I'm going to do um, another couple of flowers and I might even do from the forever fern I might even do a gray one of those I'm not sure what I'm going to use but we will soon see Okay, so let's cut all of those dies out. So that's a fair bit through there. But I might be able to make two of these cards, like two similar cards. I dropped something. Did drop. I did hear something drop, but I don't know what. <laughs> okay, so we've got that one there. Now this one's probably going to be a little bit hard to get out, I think, from memory. I've used these dies extensively since they came out. Who who? Um, the Forever Fern, who who believes that that is one of their favourite bundles from Stampin' Up? So we have that there. We have this gorgeous one here. I really need my brush tip, but I'm not. I don't have it out at the moment. So we've got this gorgeous one here. We've got some leaves. Got some more flowers. Forever Fern is your favourite, Anika. 
Sue. Yeah. It's definitely um, a great set, isn't it? Okay, now I need to do some black. I probably need to do some silver too, but I'm not real sure what I'm going to do. But anyway, so we'll do some black. I need to turn that over. I'm just going to do some black leaves. Oh, I've got quite a few leaves here. How does that one keep ending up the wrong way? There. Okay, so we'll pop these through, and I think that will be way, way, way too many die cuts, but um, at least it gives me a variation of things to use. Now, I've got no idea where all these dies are from. I've mixed up the bundles and you name it. So I'll have to sort that out after I finish doing the video. Okay. So even though these uh, leaf dies and things have got a fair bit of texture, I'm going to add more texture again to the die cuts. So I'll pop all those out. Okay. Let's pop all those over there. That. And that. But when you do this, at least if you've got loads of die cuts to play around with, it then um, helps you with your design process because you've got um, lots and lots of things to be able to, um, to play around with. Okay, so we've got all those. And I feel like I want to do – oh, that's the layer for my card. I feel like I also want to – I'm thinking that I want to do a layer of this silver brush metallic. So – let me see if I can do a three by four of that on the card front and I'm going to emboss it with something. I'm not quite sure what, but I'm going to emboss it with something. Okay, so we've got that and we've got all of these die cuts here. And we've got flowers galore. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring in, this is a hybrid embossing folder. So it's the Bloom hybrid embossing folder. And um, this is, as I said, this is not my idea. Stamping with Ruth did this and I looked at it and went, wow. That Oh, there's that die that went missing. Look, and it's still got the white flower in it. <laughs> um. So um, so this is the hybrid emboss, embossing folder. So how these embossing folders are designed is that you can pop your die into the embossing folder and you can cut out the flowers as well. So I don't actually want to use it in that respect. I'm going to use it to actually emboss these flowers that I already have. Um, that I've used the die to cut out. So they're, they're not, they don't match. They're not a, a set that is supposed to go together. Um, but it is really, really awesome to do this. So you can see here we've got these flowers. So I'm actually going to pop a flower in the middle of those flowers, like so. And we've even got some leaves. So I might even pop um that leaf in there now they're not going to fit exactly right but that's totally okay and i might even pop that flower in 
there like that okay so I'm sort of trying to center the flowers as much as I can and then I'm going to close that embossing folder now can you see where the flowers all are you can see that I've got them there so now I'm going to bring in the cut and emboss with my my base plate and my gray plate and I'm going to run them through just the way they are and you'll see how we're going to get a really awesome effect okay are you ready for it so I'm going to show you a stitched flower here before we've embossed it okay so that's a stitched flower before we've embossed it and this is a stitched flower now that we have embossed it can you see the difference okay so it's given a lot more texture a lot more dimension to the flower it doesn't fit neatly but wow the wow factor is amazing so We've done that on all of these flowers. So you can see here, you've just added way more texture to these flowers. And you can see here, this one, heaps more texture and this is the leaf. So look at the leaf that we've got, okay? A uh, bit hard to see in the black, but now, so I'm gonna do that with another, fair few of these flowers so any of the flowers that I can I'm just going to pop them um, that's a little one there we might pop it there um, a big one we'll pop in the middle there as much as we can um, is there another big one that we have we've got white there no nope, that's about it okay so I'm just going to run those two through oh there's a little a flower I forgot about that one Okay, yeah, so it cuts out the flowers, but just um, not the leaves. So the dye itself, I do have the, the dye, do I have the dye here? I did have the dye here, but I, I'm not quite sure where it is at the moment, but anyway. So now I'm actually going to, with these other leaves and things, I'm going to use the... Um, textile one again and I'm going to pop the leaves and things in to that so I'm going to do that one this one I'm going to pop some of these leaves in uh, what else have I got here this one oh that way this one got a set of leaves here And another set of leaves can I pop that one up there maybe there so I can do them all oh, there's another set of leaves anyway I'll um I'll do that like that yeah no I think it was the white flower that I I just got out there was one sitting underneath but anyway I'll soon find out if I'm missing some. Okay, so you can see here now we've got texture on these die cuts. Now, I've just got to be careful with this one. Look at that. Okay. All right, so let's get to doing this card. And then I think with this, I might even do that timber look. And we'll see that on the foil. So this timber look is awesome. So we'll pop that on there and get that to happen on the foil. So this is the new silver foil that we have in our uh, catalog that's coming on Wednesday. So any of these items right now can be placed in a starter kit right now, but we do have a starter kit special. Look at that. We do have a starter kit special that will be starting on Wednesday that you get a free bundle of your choice when you purchase the starter kit. So it's a great deal. All right, so we have that, we have that, we have this. And I feel like this needs something as well. What can we do with this one? Um, I'm thinking maybe the brick. 
on this one. <laughs> We're throwing it all at it. <laughs> Can we get any more texture on this whatsoever? No. Nope. Okay, so we're going to pop the brick one through. I'll just do that off camera quickly so it's done. Okay, so who's loving all the texture in these cards this morning? Isn't it great when you add some texture to a card? Okay, so we've got that. I feel like we need to stamp in behind this um, to add something to our card base. So I think I'm going to go back to this gorgeous stamp that we have out of the um, Beauty of Tomorrow. Um, I'll clean that up. And I think I'm just going to do maybe some smoky slate stamped on that card base whoops hopefully I've got that cleaned that we haven't got any cinnamon cider on it okay so let's get out our smoky slate and I'll also grab my scrap bit of paper and pop that in behind and I'm just going to do this around the edges and changing a bit of direction so that it's looking a little bit different. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so we've got that. Got this, got this. Okay, so I'm going to pop that one up on dimensionals. Oh, I need to work out whether I'm going to put some ribbon around first. That, that. I feel like I could do the glitter organdy ribbon because that would give you. Um, a bit of texture in your ribbon as well. Yeah, we might do that. So I'm actually going to glue this one directly down onto that basic black layer. like that so I've used my seal plus so that that will glue down really well and then I'm going to use the seal plus to add the ribbon okay so just down to that bottom section of the card Okay, then I'm going to pop that up onto the front. I could add texture too if I wanted to use our embossing paste. And one of our masks, like I did last weekend, <clears throat> you could easily add texture to um, a card there. Oh, Nancy, it's your first time catching live? Well, welcome. Where, where are you from, Nancy? California. Yeah, as I said, that's... It's not my idea, Nancy. It was um, Stamping with Ruth. She's artful Stamping with Ruth. She is fantastic. She has some great different ideas on texture and, and colours and things. I feel like I'm going to go like that. Not quite straight. Okay, that. Now, oh, I've got a lot of flowers there that I didn't put texture in, but anyway, we've got that. 
So now it's just a case of arranging some of these flowers so that we get a really nice look. And we've got a gorgeous leafy bit there. So we've just got to work out where we want to pop these in. And we have that. We need some little flowers. We need a little white one. And some black coming down through here. Maybe a bit of, uh, what else have I got? Actually, I want that to all go over that way. So, yeah. That. Okay, so I think maybe what I might do is pop the two grey pieces in like that and then build my flowers on top of that. So then adding a bit of black and then adding my white flowers and my grey. You watch my replay on YouTube quite often. Well, it's nice that you got to catch me live. Um, we'll put some of the same textured one. Actually, no. Put that one there and that one in here. Oh, that's looking quite nice. What do you think? And... I'm thinking a black bit down through here. Although I feel like it's that one's too much down through there. Maybe that and maybe that one could go up through there. Oh yeah. And some black leaves in through there. I think that's looking like quite enough. What do you think? <laughs> Although we could probably even do away with that. We could probably just do with that and that could be enough for another card, for a second card. All right, so now I'm actually going to pop those down. So I think what I might do is, just with these ones, I think I might just pop a little bit of Seal Plus here and we can pop that one in like that. We can pop that one in just like that. We can pop our white flower. I think I'll just glue that one down and I need to have my black through here now by using the seal plus there I can pop them in and glue them down and I have no problem whatsoever so I'm going to probably glue this one down and maybe pop that one up and pop that one up yeah I think so so we'll glue that one down And then these two will pop up on dimensionals. Add silver flowers. Ooh, I could do some little silver flowers. Okay, so let's add some. We could do that. There's some other little flowers in here, so let's see what we can do. So I'm going to add that one up there and that one down here. Let me see. I've got some cute little, ooh, these ones look quite cute. What do you think? Those little ones and these little ones. Okay, so let's cut some of those out of, out of our silver. Got a bit of silver left here. Okay, so let's go the mini cutting emboss. 
because <laughs> I don't have room on the table here at the moment. So let's do the mini cut and emboss. Grab the plates. So we need a white one and those two. Okay, so we'll do that and these cute little flowers. Oops, could help if I put the cutting pad underneath. What do you think? That. Although, yes, that and that. So that. I had to stop and think then about the mini one, how I'm to use it. <laughs> Just like that. Small silver flowers would look great. Well, there you go. Look, I've got some small silver flowers. Okay. Pop them back on there so I don't lose them. See, they're so little. Okay. All right. So we've got some little tiny flowers. Now let me get some mini dimensionals. And these ones definitely need to be popped up. That one. There. That one. <laughs> is this card or three or four? It's number three. I've only done three. That one there. Actually, I think those ones I'm just going to stick with um, glue dots to make it easier. Okay, and I think I'm going to pop them down onto the black so we can see them a little bit better. We might pop one just here and one up there on the black. Or no, we might pop one in here, there. Okay, so they look cute and I haven't got my little black leaves here so I want to pop a black leaf in under there I want to pop another little black leaf in under there and I've got another black leaf that I need to maybe pop one coming out from under here and i'm thinking these ones yeah could pop in there so we'll just pop one of those in there just in there to break up that gray and white one like that look at that how's that okay and then of course we definitely need a little bit of bling to bling it all up and make it even better. So let's go bling in the middle of the flowers. And there. And then we'll just do a couple of little blings around just to add a little bit more. Like that. And of course, a bow that will just set it off. So we'll do a bow. And I don't think I'm going to put a sentiment on this. I think I'm just going to leave it. The card is stunning on its own. Yeah. 
I think it's stunning on its own. And then once that bow is added, I don't know whether I want the bow down there or up there. I don't mind it up there. Up there, I think. Okay, so let's go like that. Blue dots on my bow. Like so. Okay, now we need to stamp an insert for this one as well. So I'll grab that. And I think for the insert, I'm just going to do maybe this one in, um, actually, you know what, I'm just going to do an edging for this. I'm not actually going to pop a sentiment because I, I want to leave it that um, whoever wants to use it can use it in any way possible. So I'm just going to grab my smoky slate if I can find it where I put it. There it is. All right, and I'm just going to stamp a little bit down the side. Okay, so that can be just enough for the insert of that card. I'm also going to grab an envelope because I need to stamp an envelope for my card swap. So on the envelope, I'm just going to stamp it with this one so like I did with the cinnamon cider envelope so we'll just stamp that and then on the back we'll stamp that okay so this has been great at least I've got three of my four card swaps done I just have to, after I've finished here, jump off, do a fourth one, and my card swaps will be done. So there we have it. Card number three, using a combination with um, quite a few dies there, quite a few different types of things. So let's bring back in those cards that we've done. So we've done this one here with the pierced blooms and the black and silver and grey look which is stunning. Um, I've also done this one here, and this one is with the Beauty of Tomorrow stamp set that, as I said, once again, that's actually going to be my stamps club for the month. So my monthly stamps club, $50 per month, you get the stamp set, you get the card kit to make six cards, and you get a video tutorial step-by-step. Step. So if you're interested in that, you'll see the information to register in the show more box or in the information of the video and there we have our first card that we did um using the um nature's harvest stamp set so um three very textured cards three very different looking cards um but you'll see that adding texture to your cards by using um, embossing folders by using different stamping techniques um, you can get a really, really different look on your cards. So hopefully you have enjoyed that crafting session this morning. If this is the first time you've watched, please make sure you hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. If you're watching over on my Facebook business page, please make sure you like and follow and turn on the notifications. Um, even when you subscribe to YouTube, make sure you turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I go live or every time I upload a video. So I'm normally live every Saturday morning sometimes it's saturday morning sometimes it's sunday morning it turned out that it was sunday this week so remember our new catalog goes live on august the 3rd which is wednesday next week um, we have some beautiful brand new products it's the awesome it's the aka mini holiday catalog uh, so we've got lots of christmas crafting bundles loads of brand new i think there's over 22 bundles in our brand new catalog so if you don't have a demonstrator in australia and you're looking for someone to buy your 
your stamping up products from i would love to earn your business um if you have anything that you have really really enjoyed there today and you want to pop an order in on wednesday all of the items that i've showed will be available on wednesday and we have that awesome joining special that you get to choose a free bundle on top of your 235 dollars worth of product and you just enjoy a discount there is absolutely nothing to be scared of no one harasses you for money um if you don't make the quarterly amounts you just lose your discount and purchase the starter kit again so i would love to invite you into my wild heart crafters team we're an awesome group of girls all over australia we connect through the internet through facebook and zoom calls and also as being a part of my team you actually can if you wanted to run it as a business you get free business training i have a step-by-step -step business demonstrator business training program my team get that for free and you also get the global creative tutorial bundle now our tutorial bundle um actually should have gone live today and i haven't done it yet but our tutorial bundle this month is the gorgeous leaves bundle so it's an absolutely beautiful bundle um so i will get that up onto my website either today or tomorrow um, so make sure you check out that. So thank you very much for spending a bit of time with me today. And I hope that I will see you all again next week for some lovely crafting. So until next time, everybody stay safe. My heart goes out to everybody that is in lockdown to people in Sydney, Victoria, Brisbane now, um, please everybody stay safe. Uh, get into that craft room. If you're in lockdown, get into that craft room and start um, getting some crafty things happening because it makes the time pass a lot better. So please stay safe everyone and I will catch you all next week. Bye for now.